Hey, in this video, I wanted to show you how to use layer styles in Photoshop. Layer styles give you a lot of options in Photoshop, so you could use them on text layers, you could use them on background layers, you could use them on logos. So I wanna show you how to use layer styles and some of the cool options that you have with each layer style. So I have this thumbnail here. This is gonna be the YouTube thumbnail for the video you're watching right now. So I'm in the process of creating it before I created the video. Here are some of the layers I have. So if you don't know too much about Photoshop, over here is your layer section. And if you go down here, you could create new layers just by clicking this. And each layer allows you to have an object or a text or uh, anything like a shape on that layer. I'm gonna delete this layer I just created, but these are basically different layers I have. So I have this one layer here, that's basically the border, and then I have my background picture. So I'll show you how to use layer style in a couple of these. So in this layer, which is my background layer, if I double click, if I select, first nothing is selected, now I'm gonna select this layer. It's a little bit lighter gray. All I have to do is double click and that lets me do layer styles to that one layer. So this is not changing my other layers, just this layer. So once you have this layer style option open, these are all the different things that you could do to change the layer style. So I'll go through these real quick. So bevel and emboss, you see the bevel, it's basically creating a little bit of a 3D effect here. You got stroke, which gives you a line around it. And now every time you select one of these, you could select the layer itself here. So stroke, the check mark turns it on. And then if you select the layer itself right here, you could change the size of the stroke, for example. You could put it inside or outside. And you could change the color of that stroke to white, for example, press OK. Again, I don't want stroke here, I'm gonna turn that off. You have inner shadow, that's kinda nice for this layer. You have outer shadow. And one of my favorite ones to use is color overlay. And I'll show you that on, uh, on a different layer. So I'm gonna press OK. Let me go to layer two, which is this blue border. I'm gonna double click that and I get the same layer style here. This one, I'm gonna do a color overlay. So let me check that on, and then I'll select that. So here I could change the color of that. So if I want it to be red, it could be red. If I want it to be blue, or basically any color. So I wanted it to be blue, or I could just go off and use a color picker. So I want a Photoshop color. I select that, and it gives me the same color as the PS here. I'm gonna press OK. So that's a really cool way to do color overlay. So when you make a shape and you wanna just color it differently, this layer style is a really easy way to do that. You got gradient overlay, that's really cool. It gives you different kinds of gradient overlays just like the color overlay. So you could change that here with the gradient styles. You could choose different ones. So I could click this one or this one and then press OK. I'm gonna turn it off. I like the blue one I had pattern overlay, you get different kind of patterns, you could change those to whatever you want. And I'm gonna check that off. You got outer glow and drop shadow is very handy. Let me press OK again here. And let me show you what drop shadow does. I'll do the text layer this time, double click the text layer. Oh, I made a good mistake here. So if you double click the text itself, it lets you edit that text. You don't want that. You wanna double click the layer and if you double click the T, it lets you edit the text. We don't want either of those things. So we wanna go over here, somewhere where we're not touching either and double click. And then it gives me the layer option again. Looks like I already have stroke here. If I turn on and off, you see how it makes the text pop. I have inner glow also, which kind of gives that nice glow in the text. And I already have drop shadow, which is perfect for text, you see? if I turn drop shadow on and off. Let me do normal drop shadow here and I'll do 100% opacity and a distance. Look at the difference between drop shadow and no drop shadow. In this case, I already use stroke, so I don't want to double up, but drop shadow is a really great way if you don't have stroke. Let me turn stroke off and use drop shadow instead. So you see it's a different look, but it's very handy. It's a great layer style to use. I'm gonna go ahead and use stroke, press okay. So that's how you apply layer styles to each layer. So if you see my text layer here, I have these two layer styles, drop shadow I turned off. So here you could do adjustments to your layer style. So I could turn it all off. That's just by clicking this eye here. I could turn each one off, stroke or inner glow, or I could remove styles altogether. The way to do that is you just right click or control click on a Mac, and then you go down here, clear layer style. Another thing is you could copy that layer style and apply it to a different layer. So I'm gonna do that in this case, copy, 
And if I wanted to bring it, uh, for example, to my logo, I could go ahead and paste layer style there. So now it's really messy because I already had layer style. So I'm going to do Command Z or Control Z on a PC to undo. But that's how you do it again to remove clear layer style that will take all the layer styles off and to put back right click again paste layer style and that puts them all back another cool thing is you could put a layer style on top of a group so i have my logo these three different elements inside of a folder again to create a folder you come down here press that creates a folder and you could put multiple layers inside of this folder let me just go ahead and delete that so that's how i have this group here and this group has these different layers so i have my logo i have my text and i have them all in this folder and this folder has the layer style so stroke color overlay and drop shadow so if i turn them all off that's what it looked like and by putting them all on this layer style in this folder layer style it gives me all these effects so i could double click and those are the effects i have at the folder level and not just at the layer level so go ahead and check out layer style check out all these different options again you could go to every single one and play around with every single one the settings and the options are really limitless you could do so many different creative things with layer style and i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for a lot more videos just like this one and i hope to see you on the next video thanks for watching